But first, we start with the aftermath of the shooting rampage that has left a community in mourning. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Christina Janes. Tonight, we hear from a woman the shooter is accused of stabbing back in January, telling us her firsthand experience in an interview you'll see only on CBS 13. Here's what we've learned in the last few hours. The gunman identified as 43-year-old Kevin Jansen Neal is now behind the deaths of five people. Deputies say they found his wife's body beneath the floorboards of their home. He injured 10 more people, including seven children. Two of those children were shot. The others injured from other factors like broken glass. The shooter began his rampage just before 8 a.m. yesterday, killing two of his neighbors in the rural community of Rancho Tehama. He then stole their truck and began driving toward a nearby elementary school, shooting randomly at people along the way. He was wearing a ballistic vest armed with three guns. He arrived at that school and began firing in the parking lot. School officials heard gunshots made a critical decision to lock it down, preventing him from getting inside the building, a decision that likely saved dozens of lives. The quick action of those school officials, there is no doubt in my mind, saved countless lives. He did shoot at a number of classrooms, which resulted in the injury of at least one or two students that I'm aware of. A short time later, a patrol car rammed the suspect's vehicle. Officers then opened fire and killed him. The gunman has been the subject of a domestic violence call the day before, and he was out on bail after being charged with stabbing his neighbors in January. CBS 13's Angela Musalem just finished speaking with one of those neighbors. She joins us live from Tehama County. Angela. Well, Tony Christina, the stabbing victim, Haley Poland, tells me she moved out of her home two months ago to get away from Kevin Neal. She says she feared for her life. Now her boyfriend has been killed at the hands of the same man who once tried to kill her. He was holding us captive um, right in front of his house, and he proceeded to go after her and me protecting her. He stabbed me in the process almost went through the pancreas. Haley Poland was walking with her boyfriend's mom past Kevin Neal's home in January when she says Neal walked out and began stabbing her. It's the same incident where Tehama County Sheriff's deputies Tuesday said Neal posted bail and has since been free. He bailed out like two hours later. Poland described battling with Neal for 15 minutes as he kept stabbing her. She says Neal was determined to kill her. He used to be a nice guy, but he just... Literally, with a snap of a finger, it just went crazy, and his eyes went from blue to just black. Poland had a restraining order against Neil, saying he repeatedly threatened to kill her on numerous occasions. Neil, once a threat to Poland, Tuesday became a threat to the entire Rancho Tehama community. Neil shot and killed Poland's boyfriend Tuesday morning, just two months after she moved to Southern California to get away from Neil. My boyfriend would have been here today. But now I have to live the rest of my life with this. Heartbroken and shattered, Poland regrets not taking her boyfriend and his mom when she moved. Now, all she says she can think about is why law enforcement didn't find Neil as much of a threat as she did. This would have never happened if they would have done their job. Those people would have been here today. And the question just keeps on popping up. How did law enforcement not keep a closer eye on Neil, knowing his violent past? The answer authorities have, the fact that Neil has the right to post bail. Well, according to the community, that's not enough. Yeah, lots of questions, lots of raw emotions still. Angela, thanks. Live in Tehama County. The sister of